Ahoy my fellow FPVers! Uh, something big is coming, or should I say fast? That is, if I didn't screw up somewhere. Okay, so first things first, this is my challenge for the for the world speed record. Um, I hold currently of uh, 163 kilometers an hour, but I didn't I didn't settle at this one simply because I screw up with the frame the last one that was left from my first frame it was a, it was a true age basically on a 6 cell it was it was way it was way too flexible and I couldn't and I couldn't go on a 6 cell so my record was reached on a 4 cell so what I've learned from the from the first build that actually the the weight is not it does not matter as much as the frame stiffness and aerodynamics because once I once I started bracing this one for the stiffness and this like all my aerodynamics gone to shite and then started strapping the GPS logger and this so with this one uh, my V2 build so the idea behind this basically that the quad goes at full throttle roughly at 80 degrees tilt so I decided to stack everything vertically so when it goes the full throttle the the, the, the very least uh, the very least air resistance in there right so um, still gonna have my GPS logger just for us geeks FPV as that will do for the record but if I want to register the Guinness Book of Records I have to go through the radar gun and flying through the radar gun on this one on the previous one I mean that was bloody very complicated I had my camera tilted at 45 degrees up and I was going full throttle I could still see only the grass and I couldn't I could not just fly successfully through the radar gun so on this one I have a cam stab on so we'll see how will I will I be able to fly through the camera stabilization or not. Um, we'll see. We we we'll see that later. So the frame is a 12 mil 12 millimeters carbon booms, and then inside I glue in there another 10 millimeters. So there's a 12 millimeter outside diameter and 8 millimeter inside diameter. The two millimeter walls. Okay, so I have a NASA 32 frisky frisky receiver. There's a mini VTX 200 uh, 200 milliwatts uh, mini PZ 5 volt 5 volt camera. I have a power distribution board that gives me 12 volts for the video and 5 volts for the rest of the stuff. Uh, simply because. Uh, I don't like power distribution boards, it's a necessary weight, but I will be doing the four cell high voltage test runs and then and then I will be doing the six cell runs. So previous record was on four cell, the motors were 2100 kV sunny skies. So on this one I have more powerful motors, these are uh, RCX 2208 2300 kV. First of all, they bigger, and second of all, I have a high voltage battery. So we'll see how will that go. Like I have nearly one and a half kilos truss pulling 35 amps on my on my test stand. Have a check a link below. There's a there's a link in the FPV labs where my build log. So with my thoughts, what I'm going for. So ESCs are these 40 amps. By suggestion of my friends, I resolder the caps to more powerful caps. So they look they look they look kind of big. I was hoping to get somewhere smaller ESCs, but not much. Okay, let's let's power up and then I'll show you the cam stab. Right, so I have a cam stab, cam stab activated. Now for the cam stab, I'm still, I'm still not going the full, the full level, full level tilt to make sure I know which way the quad tilts, which way the quad reacts. Cause uh, if I ain't gonna see, uh, I, I have a suspicion that it probably will be complicated, complicated to fly through the stabilization. So this is my take off take off pad cuz the motors are going to be inverted so okay let's switch off the cam stab um i have this canopy i have this canopy molded from fiberglass give me a second i have to screw this on and i'll come i'll come back to you in a minute i'm back 
So there's my canopy. It's gonna be four screws in here, and it's gonna be six uh, M2 screws in here. That's that's what it's gonna look like. There's all my windows molded. I have to tidy up, get the antennas out, and then I well, it's basically it's basically ready for me. And there's a window for the GPS logger to have a look. There's buttons, uh, holes for holes for USB and Bluetooth model. Uh, I had to I had to put the holes for ESC cooling because certain like the tests they were overheating a bloody lot um there's no there's no window for the for the cp antenna i did a, i did a little test i lost i lost a bit 10 percent or something ish on a, on the on ground test of a of a video but she that doesn't matter because all i want from this copter is a few open throttle wide open throttle passes through the radar gun so that's what it should that's what it's supposed to go at full throttle and the uh, air resistance signature well supposed to be in theory only only that much so that's my goal is to aim for aerodynamics now uh i always play i always play with my open cards i'm up for a good sport so uh revealing everything my discoveries and of course my fails as well so on the high voltage battery, first of all, this is the five inch bullnose props that I'll be going for the first one uh, run. The second one, this is the five inch bullnose props that I cut from seven by four and a half. So as you can see, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of difference in there. Like the he's like a he's like a good shovel. So basically four cell and these props on my last cop that, that that's what gave me 163 kilometers an hour so the theoretical speed with high voltage battery and this props and 2300 kv motors is something like 270 kilometers an hour which is i uh, i truly hope i'll be more than happy if i'll hit 200 so the six cell and four and a half uh, four and a half pitch props the theoretical speed is ridiculous 360 i think kilometers an hour which is way 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 far from reality and that's not gonna happen anyway so um basically on high voltage that will be my that will be my second that will be my second run on these five uh bullnose props also just in case well we'll see whatever the records i'm gonna have this is the very last resort this is the tree blade this is the tree blade prop cut from uh seven by four and a half as you can see as you can see the blades are the blades are thicker like a shovel basically with this one and six cell i believe i'm gonna burn escs and i'm gonna burn the motors the motors will not withstand because on the test stand the motors were pretty hard escs they rated 40 amps and 45 amp peak I, I cranked up to 45 amps and they they held for a few seconds which I believe be enough for a for a pass so we'll see how will that go uh, I cannot promise you anytime shortly the speed runs because the, the weather is bloody atrocious uh, this time of a year and then I have to deal with that fucking Santa so we'll see how will that go stay tuned boys and girls wish me luck or get your tools out and build something to beat me. Alright, so bye bye.